Uh, Jesse Cox responded on Twitter. What do you say? Let's see if I can find him. Jesse Cox. I might have to recuse myself right um, now. Let's see. Okay, uh, let me read this here. Uh, I will read what he says on his posts. Um, okay. Let me go all the way to the top. Let's see. Just my take on the recent videos and wow, I honestly and true. Oh, this is the post that he made. Okay. Um, you're a good man, my dude, but we both know ain't no one unsubbing whenever their money is dependent on fan outrage. Why would it... Wouldn't it be better for me if people liked the game? Are you gonna... Are you gonna take that? Well, the, the thing you... is, like, so... So, the line of logic there is broken. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say why. Here, here's why it's broken. Is because if I focus on making, you know, like, negative videos and negative content, people will indirectly stop stop playing the game right because like if i if i'm making the game worse right and i'm saying negative things about it people are more likely to unsub from the game if they're hearing things that are negative versus hearing things that are positive if people unsub from the game then they're less likely to consume content about the game if they're less likely to consume content about the game then they're less likely to watch my content which is going to hurt me so the idea that me relying on bad things it's it's actually it's completely counterproductive not really yeah I, i'm yeah you jesse well you you can see like how how it's creating a feedback loop of me being uh, of me being hurt by this uh you can watch football without playing it uh yeah except for football's more interesting to watch than bfa that's the difference so let me yeah. read the other ones. Your cranial circle jerk based on bad decisions. I don't think that's true at all. Uh, the fact is, I've been saying this stuff in the game for years now. Like, uh, of course I'm going to talk. Of course I'm going to speak out about it. Like, what what do you expect me to do? Like, just like say, uh, read the rest. Okay, I'll read the rest. Um, I get you for sure being a veteran of the game and, and the business. I just think players should take these statements seriously if the creator also took action. I, I mean, like. What, what is it? I mean, do you want me to quit the game because I don't like the way that BFA is? Maybe I can just be like everybody else, like Soda Pop and quit the game. Like there's a bunch of other streamers that quit the game. Shroud oh. quit the game. Uh, we could Lyric play Jackbox quit... Party Pack. Ooh, what is we that? We can play that right now, dude. Let's play Jackbox, dude. Well, you see what I'm saying, right? I, I mean, this is completely ridiculous. Uh, I, I mean, like, I, all these other people have quit the game and it's been bad for a while. Like, the idea that you should just quit the game, that's worse for a while than me trying to help it get better. Like, these people just want me to, like, not talk and not not give any sort of feedback. You know... Do what? What's, what's interesting is that a lot of people in WAD said the same thing, like, yo, if you hate the game, just quit, dude, just quit. Yep. And then, and then everybody quit in WAD, and they were like, oh my god, the sub numbers, dude, what's going on? People are freaking out. Well, guess what, dude, when you tell... You know, hundreds of thousands of people to unsub. I mean, what do you what are you surprised at, idiot? What do you are we really stupid? Yeah, I don't want people to unsub from the game. Like as I said, I just think that there's a middle ground where we can talk about the game and we can say, hey, I don't like this. Hey, this isn't good. I don't like the way this is going. While at the same time, not quitting the game. I, I think that's really what it is. If you'll get paid by Blizzard to get free stuff. I don't know about that. Um, let me read the rest of this. Um, agreed. I get salty as hell whenever Blizzard does stuff I don't like, but but I'll always admit whenever they fix it or do something amazing. You can love something and still be disappointed in it. I just think people realize you can monetize anger easier than joy. So here, here's my take on that. Is I think that you're partially right, but it's a short-term strategy. The idea of kind of being completely negative all the time, it wears on people. And it's like you have to have... It's like the... What's it called? The yin and the yang. Where in order to have darkness, you have to have light. In order to have light, you have to have darkness. And I think that pers uh, presenting things in a completely negative or a present a completely positive way is both bad. Right? So what I'm saying is that people are literally already upset. Well, yeah, I know that. But what I'm saying is that if all I do is say bad stuff about the game, people will get tired of that. And I do say a lot of positive things about BFA. There's a lot of positive things. I, I mean, I've, I've been very positive about a number of things in BFA. It, that doesn't mean that there aren't negatives too. I feel like these people, that they'll, they'll look and they'll be like, well, I'm saying bad things about the game now, 
but I've said a million positive things too, right? I, 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 here's some examples. I think the way that you craft Mythic Raid Gear in BFA is good. I, I like that. The way, I mean, the, the random stats are kind of bad, but it also gives people a sense of progression in a way. I don't think it's terrible. Um, I think that the raid in general is, is okay. I don't necessarily hate the raid. It's fine. The aesthetics are great. The aesthetics of the whole game is great. Um, let's see. Arena. Music. Arena. Music. Go ahead. The music. Yeah, the music is good. Uh, Arena is great. I think Arena is in a very good spot. Uh, let's see. What are the other things? I mean, those are like the big things. I mean, there's like little stuff too. Like I, I like some of the mounts that they put into the game. The long boy is awesome, etc. cetera. Uh, let's see. Uh, Island Expeditions, I think are actually really good content. I think they're the best PVP E content. Well, I do. I really think that they're good. No. I think they have the potential to be good. And Blizzard probably, they're, they're underutilizing them. Uh, I know that you guys might disagree with me on that, but those are just a handful of things that I think are very good for the game and very good. So the idea that I'm just monetizing negativity is untrue and i've talked about a lot of positive things about bfa and i've made a lot of videos about it too in the past that doesn't necessarily mean that everything about bfa is good and if i talk about negatives you have to agree that i've said a lot of positive things too i meant as uh, zero point content creators voice their opinion where it's positive or negative people are upset with all the bugs and class design war mode well yeah i i liked war mode a lot too uh, I thought War Mode was great. Uh, I don't like that the fact that there's a faction imbalance, but the idea of War Mode is an amazing idea, and Blizzard's done a great job doing it, and I think that they're underutilizing it. So if I'm saying that they're underutilizing something, I, I wouldn't say that if the core was not a great idea. Like, Blizzard's had a number of great ideas that have gone into BFA, and just because I talk about some of the bad ideas doesn't mean that I don't acknowledge that there are good ideas too. Let me read the rest of this. A couple more posts. I don't think Asmongold is a bad dude. I barely know him. But I definitely think whenever you see higher view counts, more people agreeing with you as you post more videos. Post more videos. Uh, you start perpetuating a cycle of negativity. Well, that would only really make sense if the the cycle of negativity was started being negative. Which, like, for the most part, like, whenever my stream started doing well, I, I wasn't really doing a whole lot of, like, negative videos, right? Uh, I wasn't really doing any videos at all. Uh, Shroud didn't quit the game. He just didn't have time to play it. Yeah, I mean, like, sure, but it's the same general idea, right? People would make time if they enjoyed the game more. I, I think that he just... I, I think there's a lot of times people just, like, they get to a point in the game and they stop playing. Why do they stop playing? A lot of reasons for that has to do with the game. His mentality of don't talk, just quit? Well, yeah, that's basically... that. That's the... It, it's a way to kind of not, not get you to talk about things. And, and that's what I think the problem is. Is that you're... It's almost like I'm not supposed to talk about negative things about the game. And I, I don't know, like, <laughs> what? I mean, look at what happens when you only talk about the positive aspects of the game. I mean, look, if, if somebody wants to be a shill, then they can be a shill. But I don't think that's being honest, okay? I think it's more important to be honest than it is to be a shill. That's all I gotta say. If I say any more, I'm gonna get in trouble. I first. think being genuine is really important. And I think that in order to do that, you have to accept positives and negatives. Nothing is always good, nothing is always bad. There's a number of good things about BFA. I just mentioned a lot of them. That doesn't necessarily mean that all of the things about BFA are bad. Uh, but it doesn't mean all of them are good. Yeah, yeah. WoW is always perfect. That's apparently what it is, man. Um, bon Swambi is the best character they added in a long time. Uh, I like Bon Swambi. Yeah, that's another good example. Okay, there it is. Uh, as a fan, you should try to play Devil's Advocate on the other side of the argument. Some of this shit, uh, being said makes sense. Don't write it off. I know you, Zach, are absorbing it, but everyone here is just hearing Asmongold be right. Well, some of it making sense isn't really an argument, right? Like, I've, I I'm responding to what they're saying, and, like, that's my argument. I mean, you have to, like, like, what about this makes sense based off of the context of what I've said? Like, I, I feel like I've I pretty okay. much refuted it. Okay, I, I can do that. Okay, so okay. in your video, mm -hmm. you talked about how they took away Master Loot, and you're talking about the looting system. Yes. And you were like, well, I like it when, uh, you, were, you, you said this, you were like, I like when people, you know, have control or whatever. But here's the problem, is when, whenever Blizzard gives players control, people like you go and mess it up. You start ninja looting, you start making groups to try to scam people. Mm -hmm. You do disgusting things that I don't think Blizzard wants to allow. So they have to control the population. 
Well, yeah, and, and that's basically the issue, right? Is if you give people more freedom, there are going to be negative consequences from that. But the real argument is that are those negative consequences a reason to remove everybody's freedom? Uh, I would say no. Uh, how, how many I, groups? I would say yes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Uh, that's the difference to me. Is that I think that there's a lot of big differences between, like, freedom, and, and also like it's a video game, right? So it's not really a big deal. And it's like everybody that went into a master Luder run, they went into that knowing that it could be a ninja loot run. And they did all that on their own free volition, right? So you think it's good that people have to be scared of other players? Like, oh man, I, I want to play, I want to go to this group, but this guy could scam me. You think well, it's good for the player base? Yeah, I do. Uh, I absolutely do, because it creates a sense of actual legitimate real social interaction rather than just something that's been completely neutered down to some sort of an, an experience where you don't even communicate with the other person. I think that being able to have a little bit of risk and an added reward of having a, a positive social experience is better than them removing all the tools to even have it in the first place. Yes. Well, Blizzard disagrees, and that's why they're right. Why are they right? Because they made the game. Well, yeah. Boom. Boom. Okay. Let me read the rest of this. I've been watching your content since Miss. When we started playing daily with BFA, college student working. Yeah, I feel like fine time to rate every day. Regards to lockouts, 355. I love reading, but I dislike RNG bullshit. Give the good work, bro. Yeah, I, I agree. To McConnell's point, my dog, I think a tribunal or DKP something in retail would help. Just CRZ, all the cancer together. Yeah, I mean, people can use DKP and they can decide who deserves to get gear and who doesn't. I mean, that makes sense to me, right? Am I wrong here? Like, come on. Oh, so I was reading, I was reading the guy's resub. He says, this admired guy, he says, it's good to talk about negative aspects, but you should offer solutions too. Now, I have. You have not really, not. I mean, you didn't put any in your video. You just complained the whole 30 minutes. Well, yeah, because it would be like a 10 hour video if I went through that. I'm going to make another video talking about the way that I want to solve the problems. I am. Uh, I okay, mean, this, there you go. Yeah, uh, th this video went really well, but I, I've done this thing. Be I've done that before. That'll uh, be out next year. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, let me read the rest of these comments. Yeah, I've, I, I feel like the idea that like, just because I... Uh, like I'm like pandering to an audience of negativity. I I don't really think that's true. I think that's obviously an assumption, and a lot of my content doesn't really have anything to do with the negativity. Just because I'm unhappy with the current state of the game doesn't necessarily mean that I'm talking about it in that way in order to get viewers. I think that if I was more positive towards the game, people would enjoy that too. Uh, I don't think that me being negative or positive is an influence on the amount of people that are watching my content. Uh, positive content has gotten a lot of views. Different types of content have gotten a lot of views from me in the past. It has nothing really to do with negativity or positivity. It has to do with the content quality and if that's good or not. So, so that's basically the way that I feel. Watch your view. I don't think you're pandering, but your community is overwhelmingly negative. Well, that's because people... I, I think that, like, the, the word you're using negative, I, I feel like the, the better word is critical. Like, people are very critical of the game. And I think that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know what I meant whenever you're wrong, right? I've admitted that I was wrong a number of times, don't worry.